Hey friends, Mason here with Precise Pickleball in a video series called Point Breakdown. Now I've been seeing a lot of players lately at local courts making the same mistakes over and over again. And they wonder why they're not consistently winning matches, and they wonder why their pickleball game is not improving. So in this video series, I'll be watching live doubles matches, providing commentary, pausing to give you shot selection and court positioning advice, and using a highlighter to help you visualize that, and giving you general strategy and tactics as it relates to pickleball. My hope is that you use these videos to better understand the game of pickleball, to make better shot selections, to improve your court positioning, and to recognize why you lost a point so that you're not making the same mistakes over and over again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a match. Okay, so this match is the 2018 Pickleball Nationals at Indian Wells Mixed Doubles at the 3.5 level, and it is a 50 and over game. So let's go ahead and start off with 002 here, and uh, we have a serve, nice return, and let's go ahead and pause it at this point. So we have a, a scenario here that uh, a lot of people refer to as a scenario where you should be hitting a third shot drop. And so what does a third shot drop mean? Well, if you don't know what a third shot drop means, it basically means uh, the third shot of the point overall. So you have the serve, and then the return is the second shot, and this right here would be considered the third shot of the point. Uh, so a third shot drop would actually be this player right here who's hitting the shot, um, hitting the ball into the non-volley zone right here. And the highest percentage shot that you can hit with a third shot drop is a cross court shot right here into, nice arrow there, into the non-volley zone. So ideally I'd like to see this player right here hit her shot into the non-volley zone. I'm completely okay if she decides to take the shot uh, to this side of the non-volley zone as well. What you should not do with this shot, which it looks like she's about to do, is to drive the ball up into the air over the net at the chest level of these players, right? Because what's gonna happen if you do that? Well, these players, they both are doing great in that they have their paddles up and ready, so they're ready to block anything at the chest level and just hit it right back down uh, ideally at these players feet right so that's why you really don't want to drive the ball uh, you should be hitting a drop shot here into the non volley zone area so it should be a nice and gentle shot that uh, is you know um, barely clearing the net and something that that these players over here they cannot attack uh, that's up high and that they'll just slam down on you right so let's go ahead and see that how this plays out for this player but uh, I don't think it's gonna play out too good Okay, so she hit um, she hit a, a shot that was relatively high, and uh, this player right here uh, went ahead and blocked it, and it looks like it's gonna probably land somewhere around um, the feet here of these players. Um, but I'm a little concerned because I see this guy trying to <laughs> poach this ball out of the air. Um, not maybe the best idea. Uh, so what he's gonna wanna do with this shot is to slow it down again, because look where they're at. This team is, generally speaking, kind of in the middle of the court. This is not the place to be finishing a point, right? So his shot should be where? It should be into the non-volley zone. Good. Cross court. You could go over here. Cross court for him. That would be. But anywhere in the non-volley zone is where he's going to want to hit this ball, right? Uh, if he poaches it, it's going to be going at the chest level. If he, if he drives it, poaching meaning he's moving across the court into his partner side of the court. And then if he drives it, well, this team is ready to just block block that shot right back into the court here. And he is completely out of position, leaving this area of the court open. Um, so let's see how this plays out. Okay, so he does decide to uh, hit that ball rather hard. And you can see that this player over here is ready for that, right? So he goes ahead, or he, he's going to go ahead and, and uh, block this shot. Uh, and it looks like it's probably heading somewhere for this baseline, uh, which is really going to push this team back, okay? So, uh, yeah, she can't do much with that, right? She's kind of forced back, uh, and now her options are are grim. Okay, so she, she hits a lob. So at this point, a lot of teams wonder, okay, well, what should we be doing after the lob, right? They're kind of drifting back. It looks like he's going to make his way back there. Um, so what do you think they should be doing, right? Whatever happens with this overhead, what this team over here should be trying to do is, is reset. And what I mean by reset is, again, hit the ball into the non-volley zone. You really need to slow it down because the more you hit the ball up at this team, the more they're going to slam it down on you, right? Okay, so he doesn't do much with that, which is great, right? So she's running forward, 
What I'd like to see her do with this shot is again, reset into the non-volley zone because what, what do you do, what happens, what, what does that allow this player to do uh, if she hits a shot into the non-volley zone? Well, then she can move forward with it and establish herself at the non-volley zone line, right? So let's see what she decides to do. Hopefully she's not gonna smack it again, but that may be the case. Yep, smacks it up high again, and uh, this player right here is ready for that, so I'd like to see her um, you know, put something again back at these players' feet um, to force them to do something with the ball, right? So let's see what she decides to do with it. Okay, she puts it uh, a relatively easy ball, uh, so didn't really put that away. And it looks like this player is now about to finally reset the point here, so I kind of want to slow it down so you can see really how this allows the player to move forward. So let's, pause, or let's slow it down here and see what shot she hits. Okay, good. So I, I, want, I want to take note, special note of what happened here, right? Finally, <laughs> our team here has decided to soften things up and slow it down a bit, right? And what happened when they did that? Well, you can see now their court position is much, much better here. They're, they're nearing the non-volley zone line uh, and the only reason that they're able to do that is because she took some pace off this shot, right? And she's hitting it into the non-volley zone. So instead of hitting the ball at the chest level, this player is now forced to pick up the ball somewhere down here in this strike zone, right? This is where she's going to have to hit the ball. And she can't really slam it down on the other team now. So she's just going to have to go ahead and reset that in the non-volley zone herself, right? Which allows this team to continue their move uh, right to the non-volley zone line. So finally, about, I don't know, 10 shots into the point, uh, this this team over here uh, finally wisened up and they've slowed the point down. So um, anybody's point at, at this point. Okay, so she resets it into the non-volley zone. Oof. So she wanted to poach that, or not poach that, she wanted to take advantage of that. You could, you could see that she was trying to move forward to take that out of the air. Um, uh, our player over here in the white. She wasn't able to, which is not a problem. Uh, okay, so so now what does she do with this ball? Well, I'll tell you what she shouldn't do with it is to hit the ball up in the air, right? She needs to hit the ball. It's almost like the answer every time is to hit the ball into the non-volley zone. But look, she's moving out of position this way. So she's giving up her entire line of the court right here. So if she hits a fast shot to this team, well then she's left her entire court open, right? But if she hits a shot into the non-volley zone, what does that allow her to do? It allows her to get her feet back right here and reset and wait for the next opportunity to strike, okay? So what I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see a hard shot from, from this position right here because you're, you're pulled way off the court and you're out of position. So let's hope she makes the right shot selection here. No. <laughs> so she has uh, hit the ball relatively hard, okay? And now look. This dude is, he's actually not even looking, he's not even looking at the at the ball, hit the paddle here. His eyes are lit up, right? Boom, I've got clear path to, to winning a point right here. And this is, this opportunity was made because look, now she's out of position like I told you over here on this far sideline. Uh, and because she hit the ball hard, it, the ball has traveled much faster than it would if she would have just hit something right here in the non-volley zone. And now this guy has a, a, an easy opportunity to, to finish this point. So if you're ever out of position, uh, from a shot here at the non-volley zone line, the answer is to hit a shot back in the non-volley zone, a nice gentle dink back in the non-volley zone. So I suspect this will be the end of the point, but we'll see. Yep, right where I thought it should go. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so uh, he hit it right at her feet. Interesting choice. This ball looks like it's gonna make it back over here, so let's see what happens. Okay, so again, instead of trying to take a little bit of pace off that, she's hit it high again. So now this guy's going to take his forehand and he's probably going to slam it at her feet again. And now look, just in the in the span of uh, one shot or two shots, uh, the player in the white here has moved herself from this position to here and circled all the way back to out of position to give the advantage to the team at the net. This is, this is a crazy point. So many things have happened. It's been very dynamic. But you can see a lot of this would be solved. Uh, if you just slow the point down and you just dink the ball right here into the non-volley zone and wait for the right opportunity to attack. Uh, instead, our team on the right side here is just giving uh, the other team all the opportunities to, the, to attack. So let's see if they finally finish it. 
Okay. <laughs> We're still going with this point. Okay, so again, perfect example. What should happen now with this ball? What should she do with it? I hope I, I hope that you're saying that she should hit it in the non-volley zone. Uh, because if she hits this ball in the non-volley zone, right, somewhere in here, what does that allow her to do? I hope you're also saying to yourself that allows her to move forward, right? If she hits this ball hard yet again, this team is ready. Uh, I mean, his paddle is down. I'd like to see it up, but that's a little bit, uh, you know, technical. But again, this team is waiting. They're waiting right here. They're waiting for the high ball. So if she hits another high ball, they're just going to smack it right back down on her. Okay, so think about why you're hitting your shots. Don't just hit the ball for the sake of getting the ball back over the net, okay? This is a, a bad position. You're, you're out of position for this point. Your partner's at the net, so you really need to hit something into the non-volley zone uh, to slow it down, to allow yourself to move forward. Okay, I'm glad I slowed this point down. This is crazy. Okay, and that's just meat and potatoes right there. She should finish. Good. Okay, no. Are you going to smack it again? Yes. And now, now look what's happening. Her partner has realized, oh, God, uh, you know, she keeps hitting shots up in the air, so I need to drift back. So, I mean, this team has just been dominating the non-volley zone line. Uh, you know, they've just been owning this point. They've just struggled to finish it here. So I'd like to see him maybe go for an angle or something to, to quit. Um, you know, just smacking it right back down to them. But clearly, clearly they they have the advantage the whole point here. So let's see if this finishes up. Okay, not much of a finish there. All right. Oh, and we have a little bit of miscommunication. Okay, but either way, that, that shot right there, they should have reset it in the non-volley zone. So crazy point for us to start off with there. So much, uh, there's such a dynamic point with so many different teaching points. So I hope that you really, I was really able to drive home some teaching points early there. So let's see if, uh, let's see if we learn some lessons. Okay, good. Okay, so let's, let's pause again. Great job moving forward after the return. Uh, I'd like to see her uh, pause and get ready before the ball is struck. Um, so if she doesn't quite make it to the non-volley zone line, that's okay. Um, but now let's talk about our, our team over here that served it, right? This is now the third shot of the point. So where should they be hitting the ball? I hope you're saying cross court into the non-volley zone because we've been talking about that, right? If they just smack the ball up in the air or drive it, as some players like to say, driving the ball, well, this team is going to be ready, right? She's moving forward. He's already at the net. So they're ready for anything that you drive at them. Unless you hit this perfect ball that barely goes over the net, it's very difficult for them to handle, but that's just not a high percentage shot. So again, whoever hits this, please, non-volley zone, slow it down. So now once you do that, you can move forward. Let's see what happens. Good. Okay. So this guy, as you can see, has hit a nice looping shot that's going to drop into the non-volley zone. And they have both recognized that. The ding check, the ding check, we see it. Let's move forward with that shot, okay? Which is what they're doing. So the next shot, they will probably, they're probably gonna pause. I'd like to see them pause about mid-court right here. Um, and then they're gonna wanna take whatever shot that this team right here hits, which should be hopefully back down at the feet area of these players. And they're just gonna reset it in the non-volley zone line again to continue moving forward, right? So, good, okay, so she decides to try and hit it in the kitchen, and that allowed this team to continue to move all the way forward. So you see they kind of finish their move forward really, in really quick fashion. Um, but what this player was trying to do was just hit a shot right back in the non-volley zone, right? Because she couldn't do much with the ball that uh, the gentleman in the gray hit. So it just shows you the power of slowing the point down. Uh, all he did was just hit a nice easy shot in the non-volley zone, uh, and you know she made an error. Perfect example of, uh, you know, the strategy, the basic strategy of pickleball working. So let's let a few points play out here without marking up too much. You return, nice stink. Good. Soft shot. Again, soft shot. Nope. Okay. So you see what happens when you hit the ball a little bit too high, right? They're going to they're going to finish it on you. So generally speaking, the lady in the yellow, she was trying to slow the point down, but not every shot's going to be perfect, and that serve was out. So remember, you're not going to always hit a perfect third shot drop as the serving team, right? But you do the best that you can, 
and if it's not the perfect shot that's okay just wait for the next one that comes at you and try to reset that one right good deep return okay good she hit the ball in the kitchen or non volley zone now she's backing up okay <laughs> kind of a kind of a mess there all the players are backing up um, initially it was a good little reset in the non volley zone but um, We'll slow things down here and break them down a little bit more. I think it's 1-1-1 one, one, one at this point. All right, good, deep. She's trying to move forward. So again, where should our shot be? It should be in the kitchen. All right, she doesn't quite do that. 1-1-2. One, one, okay, reset in the kitchen. Not bad. Reset. Slow it down. Nope. You're just going to keep hitting the ball at you. Nope. They got a little bit lucky there. Okay, so in those scenarios, if you're just going to keep smacking at them and waiting waiting to, waiting to, for them to hit the ball into the net, those are the scenarios where you're going to lose the game. or You're going to lose games or not win consistently, right? Everybody makes that mistake where you hit the ball into the net. Okay, but that's not going to consistently happen with good players. So you really need to take control of the point yourself and hitting it into the non-volley zone is the way you do that, right? Um, because it allows you to move forward. But just hitting it over and over again to, to the other team, uh, you know, hoping that they'll hit the net is, is the wrong strategy. Return, move forward. Okay, so this is a good looping shot, right? It's going to be tough for her to handle, so he took a little bit of pace off it. It should be looping down into the non-volley zone. Okay, so like we talked about, they've been a little bit better about that in these couple of points here. Um, so let's see what she decides to do with it. Okay, good. Oh, that's going to be a tough ball to get. But uh, even if you have a tough ball like this, you still, I mean, look at your positioning in the court. Always think about your position in the court. If you're back, the shot to hit is a shot in the non-volley zone, okay? So I know she might have some trouble getting this ball, but yeah, a little bit difficult uh, to, to move forward for that one. But generally speaking, if you're not forward in the court, you definitely don't want to be smacking the ball at the other team. So I think we have 1-2-1. One, one. Our gentleman in the gray is serving. Oof. And that's going to happen sometimes too, okay? But what was she trying to do? Let's back it up, okay? Let's just back it up. She's trying to take the ball and do exactly what the strategy of pickleball is, right? The basic strategy. She's trying to go cross court into the non volley zone. And it is completely okay if you hit the net when you do that, right? That's, it's just, it's a feel thing, it's a touch thing. You're going to have to get used to it. And you're going to be hitting the net, uh, you know, a couple of times every single match. Uh, it's just the nature of the game, but that's the shot you should be, uh, you know, choosing to hit. So I'm completely okay if my partner does this because at least she's not just putting it up for the other team to smack, right? She gets the strategy of the game. She is, you know, trying to help us move forward, right? You can even see after she hits that shot, her partner recognizes, oh yeah, she's trying to hit the kitchen. Let me move forward. She's moving forward as well. So it's a perfect example of, uh, you know, them implementing the basic strategy of pickleball. So uh, I like to see that even though she hit the net and missed that. Not a problem. Okay, so good. This is a little bit different example, right? Um, she was going, I think she was going for the non-volley zone again. She just happened to hit a shot that is that that wasn't you know d dipping down enough and they recognize that so I'd actually like to slow this down just a little bit here uh, so you can see because a lot of players think you should just hit the return or you should just hit the ball and, and just sprint sprint to the net that's not the case okay I, I've I hate it when I, I teach people and they tell me oh yeah as soon as I hit the ball I need to run run to the net right no that's not the case you need to read your shot so what happens here she tries to hit the non-volley zone, and, and they both recognize, look at this, this, this is really great 3.5 level player here to be able to recognize this so dynamically in the point, because I see this from advanced players. Look at him, he sees this ball, right? He sees it, he's looking right at it, and he knows, you know what, that, that's probably not going to drop down. 
which means this gentleman right here is going to take the ball probably around chest level which means he can you know really kind of slam it down at their feet if he wants to so instead of continuing to move forward as you've seen him do uh, just on the previous point right you remember both of them uh, kind of kind of moved forward very swiftly whenever they thought the ball that went into the net was going to go over well they recognized that that could have been a decent shot into the non volley zone but right here both of them recognize okay you know what this isn't the best shot into the non volley zone that's okay guys like I said not every shot's gonna be perfect but what you can do is just kind of pause where you're at right pause where you're at in the court because that gives you an opportunity to at least hit whatever this team is gonna smack back down at you right so as you see this point develop look yeah if he would have been sprinting forward right he may not have got that ball same with her if she would have been sprinting forward she may not have got that ball but now she kind of waited to see what how the point developed and she realized that her shot wasn't perfectly in the non volley zone and now she has an opportunity to reset this ball right it's 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 kind of like this this cycle that you should go through on your point if you don't hit the perfect shot into the non volley zone that's okay let's get the next one into the non volley zone and try and move forward so now look this lady has another opportunity to try and reset this ball into the the non volley zone cross court so that they can move forward it's you know it's it's very simple and she it looks like she kind of mishit that one off her paddle but look oh it's, it's just like ding 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 the light bulb goes off in his head right can i can i draw a little light bulb ding 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 terrible light bulb right look at him he immediately springs into action right he recognizes oh boy that's a great kitchen shot right he can't smack it back at us let's move forward this is by far the best point that we've watched as far as you know recognizing when to move forward because you shouldn't just be hitting shots and sprinting forward um so so let's see how this plays out but now our team on the left here they're they're well on their way to getting in in a, a neutral position or putting the point in a neutral position by having both teams at the non volley zone line i'm so glad i slowed this point down okay so look he can't do much with that what can he do nothing right he can't he can't he can't smack this ball down at their feet now really his only option is to try and reset this ball into the non volley zone cross court so let's see what he decides to do it's exactly what he decides to do okay now look all in the span of you know two shots really one shot that this lady hit this team is boom at the non volley zone line simple as that okay so now she's kind of moving out wide here with this ball so ask yourself what should she be doing with this ball right here and I hope your answer is cross court non volley zone right because look she's pulling herself off the court so if she hits something high and at the chest to one of these players well then now she's left her line of the court open okay so think about your shots think about the repercussions and where you're standing at in the court right so I'd like to see her go cross court good good look at her so she's <laughs> she's she is literally off the court but and this guy is, has now kind of moved into the center to be a presence for the other team to know that hey I'm here but look He's taking the ball from down here. He can't slam it down that line that she gave up. God, this is so good. This is pretty good, pretty good um, strategy implementation by the team on the left here for a, a 3.5 level team. Um, so now she's hit a nice low shot. That gives her time to move back, right? She can move back into position and he can move back into his position on the court and uh, they can look for another opportunity to finish the points. It's, it's great, well implemented. Okay. So we have a wrong shot selection from the gentleman here in the gray, right? He has now popped the ball up. This is why you dink, folks. This is why you hit the ball soft in the non-volley zone because you're waiting for the opponent to hit you the high ball. So you can see now he has an opportunity to finish this or, or at least attempt to because he can smack this down uh, at the feet of his opponents. Um, his backhand hasn't looked too great in the past, but let's see what he decides to do with it yep boom there it is okay oh everything is like tactically just been almost flawless on this point okay so now he's hit a nice shot that's going right at the feet of this lady okay so what should the goal of this team be now at this point really to reset the point like we've talked about right this team's on the advantage he just smacked a ball 
down to their feet. They're probably gonna move back into position. And so if she hits another ball up in the air, then they're just gonna smack it right back down at them, right? So I'd like to see her take some pace off of this ball and just put it right back into our non-volley zone area, either here or here. This is, this is a really sound tactical point played by the team on the left. Okay, so she does not take any pace off it. This is why you're losing points, folks. This is 100%. If you're this team, this is why you're losing points because you're, not, you're, you're making the wrong shot selection. I get it, right? It's a shot at her feet, and she's just trying to block it back. But you need to try and do something else with this ball if you want to win matches consistently because she's just popped it up again eyes are lighting up ding 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 just there it's just this ball is perfect you're just going to smack it down and try and finish it again um so not a good shot selection and there he goes and that's the point that's just pickleball yep a little fist pump from the lady in the yellow just uh I, I, it's are they sure that they're 3.5 i think they might be trolling the the uh tournament here that was just a, a, a technically sound point by our team on the left great job moving forward and finishing the point wonderful if you don't watch any other points i hope you watch that one because that was just a, a, a technically sound point right okay deep return again this team is notorious for doing the the uh the uh, strategically correct move, trying to place that cross court into the non-volley zone so they can move forward, right? So let's if they hit a good shot, let's watch and see and see if they move forward again. Hmm, hit it into the net. But you notice on that on that point right there, and this team on the left, they paused. Uh, they paused after that shot because it wasn't the best shot into the non-volley zone, uh, right? He he tried to this this gentleman right here attempted to smack it down, and and these two players right here they recognized that it wasn't the best non-volley zone shot so they just kind of hung out back here to wait to reset the next one right so hopefully hopefully you're noticing some some trends um, in the basic strategy of the game here great deep serve good okay so a, a, a incredibly deep serve and a, a really deep return so it's especially important on these deep returns to get the ball into the non-volley zone because you're so far back out of position here that if you hit something high, this team just has all the angles in the world to try and you know go left and right on you to pull you off the court. So let's hope she continues to hit her shots into the non-volley zone. Good. Okay, so you can see they move forward a little bit, but again, it was still kind of a high ball, so now they've paused right here and here. So she does have an opportunity to take a swing at this shot and, uh, and reset it again. Good. Reset, good. Mm. But you can see what she was trying to do there. They understand the game uh, quite well in the basic strategy. Obviously, you're not always going to uh, you know, hit every shot perfectly, but they're trying to hit the right shots. Mm. I still like that he was trying to reset that in the non-volley zone. He's, you know, had the right idea to continue to move himself forward. Mm, yep, this is exactly why you don't move forward on a bad, on a bad kitchen shot, right? So let's 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 break this down from the opposite point of view, okay? So this team on the right, they were the serving team, right? And the lady in the yellow hit a return. And look what they've decided to do with the return, right? They've decided to smack a shot high and drive it. And at the same time, they're moving forward, right? That's wrong. That's You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be hitting your shot as a serving team and running forward. It's just, that's not the play because what what's going to happen? This team, he's ready. I mean, I'd like to see us paddle higher and she's moving forward and she's ready, right? So what, what are they going to do with this team on the left? Well, you're sprinting forward, they're just gonna smack it at your feet. And you know, it's as simple as that. And if you're sprinting forward, well, how easy is it gonna be to hit that ball? Not easy at all. Let's just slow this down so you can see exactly the mistake that they're making and watch it unfold, uh, you know, a little bit slower as we're, we're watching this, but just watch. Ball's in the air, they're still sprinting forward, which is, or generally moving forward, which is wrong, right, because you know they're just gonna smack this ball right at your feet and 
what do we see happen? Whoops, now you did a split step, which is, I mean, <laughs> in pickleball, you really don't have a whole lot of time to do a split step, which is a totally different topic. But look, I mean, she had to pick that ball up with her feet. Let's break it down. If they would have paused back here after he hit his shot, right? This dude was running forward and he hit the shot at the lady in the yellow. Let's say they had paused right here because they recognized it wasn't a good shot. Well, if we back it up here in the frame, right? Let's say they paused right there, okay? Right where my line is. Where does the shot from the lady in the yellow go? I think this girl in the white picks it up out of the air about right here. So it's gonna bounce right about here and, and it would come up, right? So if this team just paused right here because this is a bad shot, right? It's a bad shot, the guy in the gray that he hit. Let's just call it what it is. It's a bad shot. Pause right here. That's it. Simple as that. If you don't hit a good non-volley zone shot, just stop. Okay. But so should your partner. That's why your partner should pay attention to what your what happens to your shot. So now, if they pause here, this ball that this lady hits, it's it's going to go right about here. It's going to bounce up, and you have a perfect opportunity. The lady in the white has a perfect opportunity now uh, to reset the ball into the non-volley zone. Instead, she continues to move forward and she has to try and take a ball that's coming with pace at her out of the air. And of course, what does she do with it? You know, she just pops it right back up. Easy finish. And they're, you know, completely at a disadvantage. Yep, lose the point. It's just, you know, it's it's the reverse of what our team on the left did when they slowed it down and if they don't hit a good shot, they just kind of wait. Uh, I, I mean, I honestly don't see any way that our team on the right here um, could can win this match. They're just, I mean, unless they change up their tactics, they're just not playing sound at this time. So I think it's like 3-1 or 3-2-1 three, three, if I'm keeping track right here. Good, good. Okay, so perfect example again, right? You guys saw that? I hope you're picking up on these things now. They recognized, excuse me, they recognized that his shot was a good shot in the non-volley zone. So what did they do? They moved forward, right? So now this guy doesn't have a whole lot of options with this ball. And he tries to hit it hard. Yep, 4-2-1. That's why I'm a little curious about this team on the left. They seem to be implementing strategy that's a little advanced for a 3.5 level team. But, oof, not a great return there. 5-2-1. So let's just watch a couple more points. Let's pay attention to, you know, when they're moving forward and oh, we have a timeout. Let's skip through the timeout. But but pay attention, you know. Move forward when you hit a good non-volley zone shot. Don't move forward when you smack it at the other team. You know, think about your shot selection. Water break. A little bit of chit-chat, strategy. Okay, I think we have five, two, one. Good serve. Good. Okay, so uh, she, she maybe caught with her pants down here, but she hit a pretty good shot in the non-volley zone. But this guy picked up a good ball, so um, she's kind of at an um, oh crap moment here. So I'd like to see her try to reset this in the kitchen or in the non-volley zone line, but it's gonna be tough. Okay, she does. Good. Because uh, the power of a the power of a nice uh, easy shot into the non-volley zone. Nice, uh, nice job slowing down the point. She's a really good player. I think, yeah, six two one. That's that's what earned. Yeah, six six two one, six two one or six two two. That's why they're switching sides here. Our official is clarifying the score, and we have the serve. Six two something, six two one or two. Oh, good. You see, you see, she slowed the point down. Oh, but you saw they were both back, and uh, the team on the left they hit that overhead, and the lady in the yellow tried to slow it down with a nice shot into the kitchen, or in the non volley zone. That was great. So six two two. Nice and gentle. That's okay. You're you're generally getting the the strategy there. I, I like that. Let's see if our team on the left can score some points, but 
they're just really driving the ball a lot, so I don't I don't think that they're gonna score, but we'll see. Mm. Good reaction. Wow. She <laughs> she gets a little fist pump. Yeah, there you go, a little chest pump too. She's got really great hands, um, but she kind of let that point get out of, out of control there. I would like to see him maybe slow it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's not, okay, two six, two six two. Mm. Slow it down, there you go. Slow it down, mm. see, they recognize that it's not, there's the good one, could have moved forward with that one maybe, right? Oh. Oh, she just gave him a free pass to move forward. Oh, interesting little point there. Okay, so let me back that up a little bit. This is a good example of our team on the left. They're actually waiting for the opportunity to move forward on this point, and they probably could have moved forward a couple of times, right? So we're playing that point back over again just so you can kind of get an idea of some of the strategy here. So look, this just, keep it, just, just watch these few shots from the team on the left. They are doing the right thing by trying to hit the non-volley zone and slow the point down. They're not driving it. And they're actually doing the right thing here. They're kind of they're kind of hanging back uh, because they recognize maybe some of their shots aren't the best non-volley zone shots. So they're consistently trying to reset the point. So watch these next few shots. Reset, not a good one. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe not the best, try it again. That's perfect. That's perfect pickleball right there, okay? So this is the shot where it goes, nope, yeah, it's this next one. Good. I, I think they could have moved forward on the left here. They could have moved forward a couple of times. So this is what you really don't want to do as a team on the right. So I've been bragging about the lady in the yellow, but she makes the wrong shot selection here, right? What do you do as the team that's at the net and when you have a team that's being smart and they're waiting for the right opportunity to move forward? You should do exactly what was happening on the previous like four exchanges. Continue to keep them deep. Keep them deep, right? You want to continue to keep them at the baseline because the shot into the non-volley zone from where they're standing here, that's the most difficult shot. So where does this lady in the yellow go wrong? Well, she just puts one cross court into the non-volley zone, okay? So <laughs> we've talked about the non-volley zone you know, quite a bit so far, but this is an example of where you don't want to hit the ball into the non-volley zone. And why is that? Because you give this team a free pass to move forward, right? So let's leave my lines there and see if they hold true. But what happens is she hits a dink shot. Okay, boom. Both players, even on the far side, he recognizes this is our opportunity to move forward, right? So what should this lady in the white do now? She should hit a nice shot into the non-volley zone to allow her to continue to establish herself right here at the non-volley zone. I can't remember what she does, but she's gonna to wanna to hit that ball nice and easy to allow her to get into a better position. Okay, so she hits the wrong shot, right? Dang, that happened That happened really quickly. So she hit a hard shot, which honestly this guy probably should have finished, but it looks like it just popped off his paddle. But let's say he hit a right shot. Look, look, look at, this lady hit a fast shot, and look at where she's standing, and look at all of the court that she gave up. If this guy would have, you know, caught the ball a little bit sooner, this is a great moment to stop, by the way, because she is just like, you know, in awe of what's happening in the point. But just look. I mean, he could have finished the ball. Boom. Right there. He just he just mishit it up to this guy. But you see, once you're at the, at the non-volley zone line, once you move forward, that's not the time to hit the ball hard. You still need to hit your shots in the non-volley zone, which is what she should have done in the white, right? So that she can get herself in a better position to finish the next point. And that's why she made the wrong shot selection. So if we just back that up, there was actually two wrong shot selections uh, in a row here. So the first one being that, I thought my speed was 2.5. So the first one being, that's the wrong shot. Boom, our team, our team is moving forward now. This one is the second shot being the wrong shot because now you've just completely given up all your side of the court, right? And he just happens to miss hit that. Oh wow, so much so all the way to her, I forgot about that. That ball was probably going out. And now she's completely out of position. And uh, this is just kind of a weird, weird point at this point, but she goes back to the deep player, which is correct because that player now has to try and hit the non-volley zone. And that's how it ends. But you can see why you know, lady in the yellow, wrong shot selection. Lady in the white, wrong shot selection. Um, 
and then the point played out how it played out but as long as you know why they made the wrong shot selection and hopefully that breakdown was uh, you know easy for you to understand so I think we have six two and uh, one nice and easy good move forward they kind of pause and they move forward look at that oh look at that just a complete change in in who had the advantage there because the lady on the left she took a couple of steps back and boom this team over here they were on it like sharks they just jumped all over it seven two one good yep oof the the guy in the gray had the ball that he wanted it was a nice high shot that the lady in the white hit but he wasn't able to finish it still it allowed them to move forward seven two two Patience, good, good. Way to pick the right ball to move forward, oof. So you can see the lady in the yellow, uh, she hit a high ball that time. That wasn't, uh, that kind of threw the advantage to the team on the left and they uh, they weren't able to capitalize on it. It worked out. What have we got, Seven two two or something like that? Was that out? Oh, it looks like the referee confirmed it. All right, he's giving her a pep talk. Two seven one. Let's score some points, friend. Nice and easy. Mm. Not bad. He didn't hit it as soft as I wanted to, but he had a nice shot that was dipping over the net. So it was still hard for the lady in the yellow to handle. That's my highlighter sitting right in the middle of the court there. All right, three seven one. We have we have some momentum to build on now. Remember, drop it, nope, drop it, yep. Uh, it's a common error for the team on the left and it's a common error that I see for players that play out at local courts. They, they don't try the third shot drop. I don't know if they're just scared to hit it gentle or what, but you can see the team on the left, they just like to hit the ball hard. Yeah. Okay, they slowed that one down. And now he had an opportunity to finish. That ball is probably going out, but you see what happens when you slow down the point the guy in the gray on the left, he gave himself uh, an opportunity, you know, to finish the point, right? Because he hit those slow shots, and the team on the right hit the ball up in the air. We have 4-7-2 here. Still don't see any way they can win this game on the left. Let's say change their strategy. Good. Now move forward with that. Good. Excellent. A little bit high. But you see the team on the right was able to take advantage of that high shot. But I like that the team on the left was moving forward with the appropriate shot. And hopefully you're starting to recognize that. If you, you, you move forward, not every every time you hit the ball, you move forward when you hit a good non-volley zone shot. Mm. She may have been a little bit premature in her move forward. Wasn't really a good uh, non-volley zone shot. 7-4-2, I think. Nice and easy. Not bad. Oof. Yeah, so that's the consequence of hitting the ball a little bit high, right? Um, it's okay if you try to, uh, it's okay if you try to, you know, hit the non-volley zone with a high shot. That's fine. Let me show you what I, my, what I mean by that. So he gets the return back here. It's okay if you try to hit the non-volley zone with a higher shot as this gentleman does here. I have no problem with that. But just know that you can't move forward off of this shot, right? And you could tell uh, just by the player, the, the, the lady in the yellow here, she's smart, right? She recognizes that's a bit of a dangerous ball. Actually, the mistake here is by the guy in the gray. He's continuing to move forward with this ball when he should just stay right here. Stay put with your partner there because why? If you hit this high looping shot, well, that ball is just going to bounce up at a height that is going to be above the net. So you see this guy is still able to put a little bit of topspin on it and still get, you know, a good shot with pace. See how high this ball bounces up here? Yep, he takes it at its highest point, which is very good. Um, and uh, this guy's now stuck. Okay, whoops, got caught moving forward too much. And, and that's exactly the correct shot by the guy in the gray. So that's why um, it's important to move forward with the correct shot as I've talked about, right? If he would have been paused back here, well now he can take a step to the left and he could have, you know, maybe had an opportunity to get this ball. But since he kept moving forward with a bad non-volley zone shot, uh, you know, he just, he gave up the point essentially. So hopefully you, you take a, a 
couple of tips from from that scenario there on a reason why uh, you know you shouldn't move forward um, you know on a bad shot I think we have four seven and uh, one that's a high ball you gotta finish those there you go there you go okay they slowed it down hmm I still don't like that. I don't. The I don't know why the the lady in the yellow is uh, not uh, finishing the ball as hard as she she can or or what. But she's just kind of blocking them back. But uh, it, the lady in the white was way back here at a position that whole time, um, and they were forced to you know just kind of be on the defense until the guy in the gray stepped in. But five seven one. Mm, that's high. There you go. Nope. Wait for the right opportunity to move forward. Yeah. And they kind of paused mid-court on the left side there. They kind of paused, but uh, they just they just kept hitting the ball, you know, right in the strike zone of the team on the right. Still confident in the team on the right winning this match here. And they smacked it. Slow it down. Nope. Slow it down. Oh, he got lucky. You just gotta slow it down. I mean, they're still just smacking the ball as hard as they can. I think it's six seven two. Slow it down. There, that's not bad. Easy. There you go. Nope. Nope. Not, the lady in the white. She loves to back up. Uh, which that's a whole nother. Don't get me started on a whole other topic. Backing up is the on your on the, your heels is one of the worst things that you can do, but she she loves to do it. You need to be moving forward. Seven six one I think. Good. Oof. The lady in the yellow has hit the net a couple of times on her drop shot. I think she's feeling it. Maybe lost a little bit of rhythm. Still, I like that she's trying to do that because that's the way you're going to move forward and score points. Good. A little high. It's okay. They stayed put. Good. Reset. Good. Reset. Okay. Transitioning forward. Oh, okay. Not bad. But do you see how the team on the right, they were trying to slow things down. Uh, and hopefully you're like confirming that with yourself too, as the points, you know, uh, as the points unfolding, you know, they're not just smacking it back as hard as they can at the other team. Good reset. Uh, way to slow it down. Mm. Yeah. Again, the lady in the white, falling back, falling back, hitting these high shots for the team on the right to finish. And when I say reset, a reset, I'm just meaning, you know, the team on the right has smacked the ball down uh, at the feet, or they're just, they have a, a good shot to smack it down, and reset would just be resetting it right in the non-volley zone, right? So anytime I say reset, you could, should think, okay, they should be just resetting it in the non-volley zone. So if they smack it hard here and it comes back at their feet, you just want to take that opportunity to slow it down again. Okay, well, I, that was the wrong shot selection uh, just for the sake of it allowed the other team to move forward. But, you know, if you're playing with people that maybe have a little bit of mobility issues, then you, you do have that shot as a shot to potentially make. So, good. See, now they're trying to reset. This is where they're trying to reset, and they did. Okay, that team let them come forward. Now they're just waiting for the high ball. There it is. Good finish. Oh, good hands. Hmm. Uh-oh, I think they called that out. Guy in the gray wasn't happy about it. So we have 8-6-1, I think. Oof. Another net shot from the lady in the yellow. That's okay. She's still making the right short cho cho shot choice to get herself to the net. 8-6-2. Good return. Good. Nice and easy. Okay. You can see, though, I mean, every time the team on the right, they're just trying to reset the ball into the non-volley zone. Uh, you know, they're, they're, not gonna, they're not driving the ball to just let the other team keep smacking it at them. They're making the right choice to try and reset the point. Slow it down. Good. Here we have our lady in the white who has found herself once again at the back of the court. I don't know why. You got to move forward, lady. She's a little bit frustrated with that point. Being back at the back of the court is the worst place you can be, uh, you know, if the point is unfolding. So don't move back. 
Good. And they moved forward. Good. Oh, she chose the wrong ball. So why did she choose the wrong ball to take advantage of? Okay. So let's go back to the beginning of the point. Hopefully you're kind of getting the the gist of what you should be doing in your basic strategy, right? So let's take a look at this point here. Standard serve. Pretty decent return. So what happens here is this gentleman hits the ball over here into the non-volley zone. Right? Let's pause that. Okay, they're kind of looking forward. Okay, and then they decide fully to fully move forward. Right? To fully move forward. Let's let's do it. Because this ball, this is a good shot, right? Even she's already taken a step over here, right? So this team has recognized that they need to move forward. And hopefully you have recognized as well that that's their opportunity to move forward. Okay, but this lady in the yellow, uh, as I've been bragging about her quite often, she hits a pretty good shot, you know, low into the non-volley zone. And this lady's still a little bit back, right? So what is the right shot to hit here? You know, think about it. Is the right shot to hit a high shot and try and pass them down the middle or something like that? No, the right shot to hit is to hit the shot into the non-volley zone, right? Because why? Because you're waiting for the other team to make the mistake that this lady makes right here, right? She makes the mistake. The ball that she takes here, you should just reset this cross court. But instead, she's trying to make something happen. I think she tries to go down the middle or it's just something that's high. And what, what, oh. What do we have happen here? Look at that. You know, it's right at his chest. He's just going to block it right back down, right at your feet. And now she's stuck. She's screwed, right? She's Now you have to try and reset this ball. <laughs> How are you going to reset this ball into the non-volley zone? Not likely, right? What does she do? She hit it into the net? Yeah. But do you see why it's important to think about your shot selection? I mean, she was in a pretty good position in the court. She wasn't in a bad position by any means. Right? She's right here. She's she's on her way. She's on her way to being right at the non-volley zone line like her partner is. She just needs one extra shot to get her there. And that shot would be cross-court non-volley zone. Right? So, you know, you want to be forward. You want to move forward. But you want to you want to help yourself get there. And you want the other team to make the mistake. So, what if she goes cross-court here? Right? And then the guy in the gray, he hits a high one. Well, then now you can slam the ball down on that team and you don't even give them the opportunity to hit the shot that they do. So that's why you really need to think about the shots that you're hitting and the opportunities that you're giving to your opponents. Yep. Nice. I think that's side out. We have uh, eight, six, eight, six, one. Good. Reset again. Mm, yep. He backed up on the right over there because he he recognized uh, that she, her her kitchen shot wasn't the best. Hey, thanks for watching this point breakdown video. If there's certain matches that you would like me to break down, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. Also, let me know which style of video you prefer. Do you prefer the free flowing points as I give commentary behind it? Do you prefer that I pause it more often and provide advice with a highlighter on shot selection and court positioning? Or do you like a combination of both as I've done with the video here today? I'd be happy to take these videos in the direction that gives the viewers the most value for their time. Also, if you would like me to review your personal match, I'm happy to do so for a small fee. Just reach out to me via the comments section and I'll get in touch with you. Thanks so much and see you on the next point breakdown.